Welcome to Quick Tech News, where we keep you updated in the world of tech without wasting your time. If you didn't already know, Apple have been working on a top-secret automotive effort called Project Titan. The initial proposal and project was started up in 2014, and a recent article from Reuters suggests that they were targeting to launch a passenger vehicle by 2024. So, should Tesla be worried about this development? After all, their stock price did drop 6.5% after news of potential competition from Apple came out. Before I share my opinion, I want to hear yours. First of all, do you think Apple will actually get into the automotive industry, and if they do, will they dominate? Let us know down below. Also, if you're new here, I'd really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe. We are getting very close to 1000. Alright, have you commented? Okay, good. So here's my opinion. Yes, I do think Apple are aiming to somehow be involved in the automotive industry, but no, I don't think Tesla should be panicking about this. First of all, let's make it clear that Apple have not directly confirmed any of the information we've been seeing over the past few years. Now, that's no shock. Apple are notoriously secretive about their projects, so it doesn't mean that these are just rumors, but it is worth noting. Now, let's look at the time plan. As I mentioned earlier, rumors of this project first appeared back in 2014, and since then it would seem the project has been a roller coaster ride to say the least. The initial idea was apparently to build their own electric passenger vehicle, and to do this, they've apparently had a team of around 1,000 employees working on the project. However, according to Bloomberg, Apple later changed their minds and reduced the scope of the project, focusing instead on developing self-driving software that it could deploy in partnership with existing car manufacturers. As a result of this, they laid off around 200 employees involved in the project. According to Elon Musk, Apple had the opportunity to acquire Tesla sometime in 2017 or 2018 when they were struggling to ramp up production of their Model 3 sedan, but Tim Cook declined to take the meeting. So they could have had Tesla for a small fraction of what it's worth now. Back to Apple. It seems their strategy has changed once again, and they are now back to looking at making an actual car. Central to their strategy seems to be some kind of monocell design, which in simple terms allows for the battery to hold more battery by freeing up space inside the pack, which would allow them to get more range out of their batteries. This design could apparently reduce the cost of the batteries as well. They've also been reportedly examining lithium iron phosphate, or LFP for short, which is less likely to overheat and is therefore safer than other types of lithium iron batteries. Elon Musk replied to this information on Twitter, showing skeptical skepticism about this monocell design, which according to him is electrochemically impossible since the maximum voltage would be far too low. So, Apple is apparently aiming for a 2024 launch, but considering how 2020 has played out, that could well be pushed back to 2025 or even beyond. Plus, their efforts could still be halted once again if things don't turn out the way they intend. So, I don't think Tesla has anything to worry about for quite some time. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe, and tell your friends to help get this channel off the ground. Thanks, and see you next time.